Is it possible to reverse your aging process? Well, a new 2023 study showed potential reversal of biological age in women. Hey, my name is Seem, and in this video, when I talk about this study, what kind of results did they see? What was their diet like? And I'll also share some of the problems with this kind of biological age. It's showtime. So, the title of the study, Potential Reversal of Biological Age in Women Following an 8-Week Methylation Supportive Diet and Lifestyle Program by Cara Fitzgerald, who is actually also the authors of the previous study that we have, the first of its kind in humans of reversing or showing epigenetic age reversal in humans. And this study was done in 2021, so two years ago. And this particular study was done on 43 healthy adult males. So this new study is kind of a follow-up to that uh, 2021 study because this one is done only on uh, females. So we have two case studies in men and women both showing potential reversal in biological age tests as measured by the Horvath DNA methylation age clock, which uh, is currently like considered one of the gold standards for measuring biological age. But of course, it uh, just measures like one aspect of aging, which is then methylation process. So regardless, they took six uh, women and uh, they all exhibited a biological age reduction between 1.22 and 11.01 years from their baseline biological age. So the average decrease was about 4.6 years. And because there is only six participants in the study, then you can see pretty much see all of them listed out here. You can see their chronological age. So uh, yeah, like they're all between uh, 56 or actually one of the one is 46, uh, 46 until 62 years of age. Actually, they weren't like none of them were biologically older, except for this uh, 46 year old who was biologically 49 years old, or at least like the test measured that it was. And uh, all of them were actually pretty, you know, healthy in terms of that. They weren't like severely unhealthy, that they didn't have like a 10 year, <laughs> like higher biological age, which would be very easy to reverse within eight weeks. But as you can see, they were pretty much either very close to their actual chronological age or slightly below that on average. All of them saw some improvements or some reductions in their biological age except for this one participant uh, who actually, I think, uh, want, this, is, this is the individual who actually uh, stopped the uh, intervention. Now, this is only six participants. Of course, it's a very small study. You don't have a lot of uh, data. Uh, but if you actually also combine it with like the previous study that they did on males, that you can see that, yes, these uh, apparently like it does have like some effect in terms of whatever the protocol is that they follow in the study. It does apparently have positive effects in uh, women and men. So what did they actually do? What was their actually like protocol that they followed. Generally, they ate like a methylation supportive diet. These are uh, foods that have methyl donors that help with the methylation process. So two cups of dark leafy greens, two cups of cruciferous vegetables, three cups of colorful vegetables, a quarter cup of pumpkin seeds, a quarter cup of sunflower seeds, two servings of methylation adaptogens, one to two beets, which is very high in uh, trimethylglycine or betaine, liver or liver supplement, three three ounce servings uh, per week, which is very nutrient dense and also high in methyl donors, one serving of egg, five to 10 per week. So uh, on average, like one egg per day, slightly more. And the healthy eating habits, I exercise for at least 30 minutes a day, practiced breathing exercises twice, slept at least 7 hours, fasted 12 hours after a meal, and 8 cups of water per day. Now the program of the study wasn't something very groundbreaking, as you can see. They just focused on a generally healthy diet with some aspects of time restricted eating. Of course, they also did exercise. They also made sure that they slept long enough and drink enough water and do some breathing exercise, so like manage stress, etc. Wait a minute. And I also want to talk about the effectiveness of the biological each test, like I said, the Horvath's clock is considered right now like the gold standard for measuring biological age, although I think it's still very limited and it definitely doesn't tell you like your biological age, actually. It just measures your DNA methylation and it measures like different these CPG sites and these different patterns, DNA methylation patterns that are associated with certain ages. And one of the issues with these biological age tests is that they can vary quite a lot. So, for example, stress and infection and inflammation, all those things can actually increase your biological age as measured by the DNA methylation test. And if you think about if you get cold, if you get you know, the, uh, the virus, for example, then your biological age in that particular moment will increase because your body is under higher amount of stress and inflammation. But did you actually get biologically older? I don't think so. It's just that in the short term, your body is experiencing this higher amount of stress and inflammation, which based on the test would tell you that you're older. But uh, I think it's pretty reasonable to say that you actually didn't age when you got infected during that time. And uh, it actually restores back to normal after recovery. So this particular study found that, yes, stress and infections and those things 
inflammation, generally oxidative stress, whatever the cause is, is going to increase your biological age and uh, it's going to make you appear older based on the DNA methylation patterns. But the biological age will reduce back to normal, back to baseline as you were before during recovery. So that's kind of, you know, almost any stress like even like with exercise, you will see an increase in inflammation and oxidative stress, but it goes back to baseline. And with exercise, you actually see an improvement like super compensation. You go to a lower level of baseline with inflammation at least. And again, you know, I wouldn't put too much, let's say, emphasis on these DNA methylation tests. Yes, they do tell you something. I have measured it myself. It has told me that I'm nine years younger than my chronological age. I think that it's a valid measurement. Yes, it does tell you something. It tells you like the pattern of the DNA methylation and uh, it does compare it to the average population. But I wouldn't say that it's uh, inherently like, yeah, it's not going to be that uh, reflective of your actual biological age, especially if it's so variable. If uh, if you if you get like some sort of a short term infection or whatever, I've actually had like people who I've worked with who have taken a test, like they said, I took the test, it says I'm five years older than I was before, what's the issue? And it turns out they had like an infection two weeks before taking the test. So yes, if you take the test while having an infection or recently having combated an infection, then you're going to be older. So you need to be very uh, wise and aware of uh, when you do the test and uh, what other factors may affect the result. It's a trap. But regardless, this study and the previous study in 2021 both show that in men and women, it is possible to reduce the DNA methylation age with a relatively short time period, only eight weeks of following a DNA methylation supportive lifestyle and a diet. So yes, it is possible to see an improvement in your health and see a reduction in your DNA methylation age. Whether or not the DNA methylation age is actual reflection of your biological age is up to debate, but I think it is certainly a, a good sign that you're heading in the right direction. And it's certainly like it's much better than having a super high score in the DNA methylation age test, if you get what I mean, unless you have, you know, seriously se se recently have been uh, exposed to some sort of an infection or something like that. Do you want to slow down aging and increase your health span? If yes, then I'm looking for more people who want to do that. If you're interested, then email me the word health to info at seamlun.com and I'll send you the details. Other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seam. Stay optimized, stay empowered.